for people who go through the training program. All right. Well, there's go there go the free part. So what happened? What hypothetically? What happened if they don't complete that contract? If they get fired or they quit? If, if for any reason they don't fulfill it, then what we spent on tuition, which is seven thousand, they would have to pay that back. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Recruiter Call Channel, where we make the call for you. Thank you for calling Mass Trucking. This is Jen. Hey, Jen. How's it going, Mass? Speak with a recruiter, please. Yes, that'd be me. Awesome, awesome. So I am. I'm from Ohio as well. Um, where are you guys located at, and how far is that from uh, from Cleveland? Sure. So it's about an hour and a half, two hours, depending on where you're at in Cleveland. We're near Amish country uh, in Millersburg, Ohio. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now let me ask you. Now let me ask yeah. you this question. Being that I am from Cleveland, and you guys are about a couple of hours away from me. Um, will I be able to take the truck home? You would not, but, um, we do require that for the first month of training that you stay on site, we do have free housing for you. You would stay on site Monday through Friday and you get to go home on the weekend. And then in month two of training, you're living in the truck, um, and guaranteed home at least once during that month. Okay, okay. Now you over here talking training. Now, now are you talking training for drivers that don't have their CDLs? Yes. Okay. Do you have your CDL already? Okay. Yes, I I have mine already. But a quick okay. question, uh, because I'm well. Here's my thing. I'm I'm I came well. Of course, I am from Ohio, and I have seen a few of you guys' trucks. And, you know, I talked to a, a driver or two here and there. But I, I've, seen mm -hmm. the I've, I've seen the video, and then I jumped into the comment session. Uh, from there, I went to the website to find out that you guys do, uh, do CDL training. But there was one question that caught my eye in the, uh, in the Facebook comments. And... It just kind of got like dead from there because it's like everybody in the Facebook comments is asking good questions, but nobody nobody is like replying back to them. And if and even if they do reply to them, they over here saying you know they they send a, a a a you know a DM or something like that. My question is this: I mean the questions are good and they're being asked in a open forum why not just answer the questions in the open forum why be you know is it, that is, is it something i can address with our team because awesome. i'm not in charge of our facebook okay awesome um, awesome awesome well i i do have i do have some questions if you don't mind absolutely awesome awesome okay um so you guys do cdl training uh, for drivers that don't yes, have, we do hire experienced drivers as well. Gotcha. Okay. Now, for drivers that mm -hmm. don't have their CDLs, what what are their like requirements after they get their CDL to, you know, pretty much pay for the pay for the CDL? So our training is free, um, but we do require that you sign a hundred thousand mile contract to work for us, which takes roughly a year to complete. Okay. Okay. That, That's that. for our, for people who go through the training program. All right. Well, there's go, there go the free part. So what happened? What hypothetically, what happened if they don't complete that contract, if they get fired or they quit? If, if for any reason they don't fulfill it, then what we spent on tuition, which is 7000 they would have to pay that back. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Um, I got seven years of, of experience. 
Um, how much experience do you guys require for experienced drivers? At least a year. Okay, okay. Uh, do you what lane? Yeah. What lanes do you guys uh, run, and do you run Canada? We do not run to Canada, so we go everywhere east of the Mississippi. The only place that we do not force dispatch would be New York City. Okay, so you guys do the Northeast pretty much? Yep. All right. The eastern half of the United States. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, Pre-employment drug screening, hair follicles or urine or both? Both. Both. Okay. Uh, another hypothetical. Okay. Uh, we pass the urine but don't pass the hair follicle. Um, I'm assuming that not passing the hair follicle, we we will still be rejected. Is there any kind of way that if we are rejected for the hair follicle, could we still probably come that back at a later date to re you know reapply? You could. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. But it would be reported to on your driver's license. That would be for the On the driver's license. Don't don't you mean the DAC report? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, yes. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So Yes, it, so, it would be reported. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so the hair follicle, even though it won't be reported to FMCSA because they don't require that, but you guys will put it down on the DAC report that that, that person had flumped. That is in. correct. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yep. Mileage pay. Um, what, what would be my mileage pay coming into the company at seven years? That's something that the experienced driver recruiter has information on. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome. Uh, it, it, it depends. It, it really depends because a, a typical driver who does over the road, mm -hmm. um, makes between seventy four to eighty four thousand. Um but it really depends on which pay it, it depends on which schedule you choose as to how much you make. Um because if you're wanting to be home more frequently, you can expect to make more sixty thousand. If you're wanting to go to frequent trips to New York City, pays between ninety and ninety eight thousand. Yeah, we 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 we're gonna take a pass on New York City. <laughs> At least I, I don't know about now. Listen, I don't know about other uh, other drivers, but, but myself, yeah, I, I'll take a pass on that. So, but I, I but I, I can say ballpark seventy four to eighty four thousand. Okay, okay, okay. But he uh, would have more information on that. Gotcha. What what are your trucks governing that, and uh, what's the equipment? That would be something that he would be able to discuss with you. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, okay. You, you're not. Well, what's the uh, well? Other than the govern, do you know what equipment that we'll be driving? Like Peterbilts? Uh, do you have Volvos? Do you? Uh, Kenworth, Kenworth Freightliners. Um, we have one international. Okay, okay. Mostly Kenworth. What about driver cams? Mm -hmm. Is 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 there driver cams in the, yeah. in the truck? Mm -hmm. Front, uh, both front facing and and facing the driver. Yes, sir. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yes, sir. Um, all right. Um, now you guys is like you know like a, a a small outfit. Do you guys offer any type of lease opportunities there? Or no. Any type of what? Lease lease opportunities. Like lease to own, lease to oh, purchase. Oh, that's something that he would need to discuss with you. So, since he's the one that has all of the answers, um, what is your name and contact information so I can send it over to him and okay. have him reach out to you? Oh. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So you uh so you so you the experienced recruiter from Max Trucking? 
That's correct. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome, awesome. I, I did talk to the young lady there, but she only had like limited information because of uh because of the recruiting that she was doing is only for is only limited to like people that don't have their CDLs, right? That's right. That's right. Just for our professional driver training program. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so uh she did give me a little bit of back. I'm sorry, you I'm sorry, you was okay, about go ahead, go ahead. All right, Go so ahead. she she did give me a little bit of background because basically I I came over from the Facebook, uh, the comment session was kind of like hit and miss, so I yep. you know I kind of like decided to give you guys a call just to get you know just to get some information. Uh, let me start. Uh, let me start by. All right, so let me start by asking you. Um, I'm out of I'm out of Cleveland, Ohio. You guys is about two hours away from me. Uh, I did ask her, can we take the trucks home? So can we take the trucks home? Well, I'll just clarify one thing. So where you called was down to Millersburg. My depot where you would be driving out of is actually out of Maslin. Okay. I I think I lost you. I'll be driving out of where now? Okay. Maslin, Ohio. Oh, Maslin, Ohio. Okay. So Maslin is about ballpark about an hour from Cleveland, give or take. Yeah. Yep. That's probably about right. Okay. 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 So, all right. So again, would I still be able to take the truck home or no? We, we really try very hard not to have drivers take trucks home just because it impacts our ability to do the preventive maintenance so much. It just really impacts us that you know, we try really hard to make sure that the trucks get brought back to the, the center where they can be serviced and taken care of. Okay, okay, so okay. We try really hard to do that. Okay, okay, okay. Now tell me, Scott, how, how long are you looking to be uh, out for when you drive? Are you looking to just do local or is that why... Well, no, I'm just asking general question because, you know, like I, I do have a car and yes, I can get back and forth to work. But I'm just saying, like, if I, you know, if I come home on a weekend uh, from doing regional, you know, I come home on a weekend, do my, you know, full two days off. You know, I was just kind of wondering in case like if my car breaks down or something like that, I'll. I'll still be able to you you know use my truck to get me back and forth, you know, to get me back right. and forth. And certainly, so. I mean, if, if there's an exception, there's something crazy happens like that. You know, we certainly will make accommodations. But uh, as a general rule, I would say that you would plan on not taking the truck home. Okay, awesome, awesome. All right. So, how much experience do you guys actually require? I mean, I got seven, but how much do you guys require? Our minimum standard for anybody on the experienced driver side is one year factor trailer driving experience. Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, what now she told me that you guys run the upper us uh, upper eastern part of the United States, but what are all the lanes that you guys run and do you run Canada? We do not run Canada right now. We certainly have run Canada, but we basically cover the eastern half of the United States. So we go, you know, all the way up into, you know, Maine and New England states. We come on down through, you know, Pennsylvania, Ohio, over to Indiana, go over that way. We go down through the Carolinas. We go down through Georgia. We may do a little bit in Florida, come back up through, you know, the Carolinas again, jump over into Tennessee a little bit, and then come up through, you know, like the, uh, the Indiana is kind of where we really have some big customers over there. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Now for, now she did tell me that you guys don't force dispatch into uh, New York city, but since you guys do that upper corner over there, do you guys offer a little bit more uh, for doing the Northeast or do you guys offer anything more for doing New York city? New York City pays a premium for sure, but nothing else in New England does, even though, I mean, there's a case to be made, and we just haven't jumped over the fence yet, 
that Jersey has gotten, you know, over the last few years, just as bad as New York City in many areas, if not worse. You ain't lied about that. <laughs> um, and it is, yep, and, and, and it is forced dispatch over there. So, you know, uh, if a driver don't well, want to go. You, you, would make, you would make a decision saying, hey, I want to run New York City for you, Mike. And you would become one of our New York City drivers. If you are not one of our New York City drivers, you do not get pushed into New York City. But I will be, I I will be forced dispatch to go up into 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 the other states up that way, though, right? You bet. You oh. will definitely be running New England states. You'll be running Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, all over there. Jeez. Okay, <laughs> that's what's up. Um. So she did mention about the pre-employment uh, drug testing. She did say that it was hair follicles and urine. It is, it's both of them with you guys, That's, right? It certainly is. And that hair follicles, because that goes back about a year on any usage at all. It's one year that you could kind of count on it showing up if it's there. All right. Yeah, I don't have to worry about that part. <laughs> But that is a deal breaker yep. for a, for a lot of drivers out here, though. That's oh, ooh. there's no doubt about it. I mean, it's not DOT required yet, but the day is coming, and we just want to be out in front of it. We've been doing it for about five years. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. Now for the now, is there any like I don't want to say excuse or anything like that because some drivers. You know, they they be around people that does it. They, you know, family, friends, and all like that, and it gets in their, you know, in their pores or whatever, whatever. Uh, you know that they never smoked it themselves. You know, like secondhand smoke. Uh, is oh there yeah, we've had we had it happen a lot. We've had it happen a lot, and there's you know the the tough part about it is that. A positive screen is a positive screen. And it's one of those, you know, because of our insurance regulations, Sean, if if it were to come back, I mean, if you were sitting around a campfire with a bunch of guys and they were smoking pot and you were sitting over there just, you know, minding your own business, you know, and it came back, that happened to be a random test that you did and you tested positive, that's all she wrote. Wow. Yeah, it's, 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 it, you know, I, I try to, you know, I, I pride myself not, you know, not, I know people that does it, but I pride myself not to be around it. So thank you for that. Uh, thank you for that it's little tough. tidbit right there. Uh, mileage pay. Yeah, there's, there's no way around that. Yep. I got you. Mileage pay. Um, so you guys do pay by the mile or is it percentage? And if you pay by the mile, what's the, what's the mileage pay? Well, I guess the answer is we do a lot of different things and really kind of three basic things. So one is we do mileage pay where there's guys. Now, I don't know if you are familiar with it. We do reefer. Everything we do is reefer. Right. I've seen your trucks out here. I talked to a few drivers myself. So, yes. Okay. So we're, we're all reefer. So we're hauling all grocery products and mostly milk products and meat products. And so, to run, and I don't know, you said you've been driving seven years? Yes, sir. Have you ever driven reefer in those seven years or not? Yes, I have. Okay. So you know a little bit more. And as I tell you that, you know, the guys that are out there running and they say, oh, I run, you know, 4,500 miles a week, 5,000 miles a week. And I do that every day, day in, day out, you know, and it's just what I do. You don't do that in the reefer world. Right. You're waiting to get loaded. You're waiting to get unloaded. And if that's not something you can live with, I mean, our drivers average rate about 2,200 miles a week. And, you know, you'll have some weeks higher. You'll have some weeks lower. But that's just reality. And I do my very best to help guys know what's real and what's not. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. I appreciate that. So uh, that's and that's really where you'll be. I mean, we can promise, you know, oh, yeah, you'll hit a 3,500-mile week. You may do that one time when you get a run that takes you down to Georgia, and then you're going up to Maine. But other than that, you're going to have a hard time getting it done in a week running reefer. Ooh, yeah, because so – our, uh, plan, our plans are basically we have paid by the mile, and a lot of times if you're running regionally for us by the mile, we would guarantee you 
at least 2,200 miles that week. So if you went down to Georgia and a chicken plant was shut down and you couldn't run more than 600 miles that week, you would still be paid for 2,200 miles. Okay, 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 okay. All right, that's uh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, okay. then we, we also do offer percentage plans as well. We offer percentage plans where you run for a percent of the load, which is basically a, a 25% of the load that you would be paid and that's no guaranteed on the miles or anything like that and no payment on anything that has to do with fuel surcharges or any of that stuff okay do you guys do any type of of leasing over there or is this just straight company straight company drivers we did leasing long long time ago and we found that most of the guys really just want to drive and they don't want you know either they were owner operators or they just wanted to drive Awesome, awesome. Uh, what are what, she already told me the equipment and uh, what what are the what are the equipment governed at? Sixty five. Straight through, nothing else on the cruise. Straight, straight through on the sixty five. I mean, it's just and and what what makes me do that, quite frankly, on the across the board, is my fuel mileage. And you can imagine, I'm running 150 trucks, and I'm getting right now, you know, I'm getting close to 7.8 miles per gallon on my new trucks, you know, on my new Kenworths, on my new Freightliners. And when I get guys running 65, um, it all works. Can I take your order? Can I get a tall chai? And a large black coffee. A what? Large black coffee. Do you mean a venti? No, I mean a large. He means a venti, yeah, the biggest one you got. A venti is large. No, venti is 20. So there, there is some type of percentage pay. Do you have to, um, do you have to work, uh, for you guys for a while to get that? Or can we just jump right on it? You know, in most cases, depending on the experience, more of the guys coming in, we'd probably like to, uh, you know, probably like to see you run for six months or so and see how you're doing. Because we want it to be good for you too. And the guys that make a good living running percentage, run really consistent. They don't have safety issues. You know, it's one of those things where everything kind of lines up right. And running percentage is just kind of the last piece of the puzzle that really um, benefits the driver. All right. All right. Now, well, as, now as far as home time, I, I did read this in the Facebook uh, that we get, if we get home on Friday, we actually get our two full days off, right? Right. If you're on, if you're on the regional plan, uh, with us, you do the regional plan where you're running during the week and you come, you know, you get two days off. We definitely get you home. Now, the one thing I'll say, it's just part of the trucking world, is that the weekend for drivers sometimes your two days off isn't necessarily the weekend. Mike, Mike, I'm I'm finding it hard to hear you. Okay, there so you go. There a lot you of go. times, a lot of times, the uh, the two days off may not fall on the actual weekend. Mike, I'm I'm sorry, Mike. You, I, have, you still sound far away. Maybe maybe it's let me make sure, sure. it's not me. Uh, okay, I still got my bars. All right, it you you just this is better. Yeah, I'm, I'm full bars. You just sound a little so bit far. You just sound a little bit far away. Okay, is that better? That's better. Go ahead, sir. Thank you. Okay. So, what I was saying is that what you have to realize is that sometimes your two days off will not be Saturday and Sunday. They could be Tuesday and Wednesday, or you know Thursday and Friday. Is that a concern or a problem for you? Um. I mean, you know, I've been so used to having my weekends off for all these years. I guess it's just something that I probably might have to get used to. Yep, I understand that. I understand that. Okay. But I just like to let guys know that because there are times that it happens where all of a sudden you're out running and we they run, you know, a Friday, Saturday for us or a Sunday, Monday for us. Uh, that would really help us out and it would give us, you know, some good trade coming back. Okay, okay. Pet and rider policy and how what's the youngest I can bring my rider? Um, I believe the riders have to be sixteen. 
and you have to drive for us for about a year before you're allowed to bring a, a rider along. Pets? No pets. No pets. All right, all right. Uh, again, uh, the equipment that I'll be driving. Now, I've seen some of your you got uh, some of your drivers driving Mack trucks, but do you guys have other trucks in the in the fleet that you guys have to offer? Now, you wouldn't see any Mack trucks. All of my trucks are either Kenworth or Freightliner. Okay, okay. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, uh, Kenworth, and they're all automatic. They're all automatic. Okay. You hear that? They're yeah, all automatic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. I thought you were still talking. I ain't want to over talk you. Um, since you since you mentioned uh, you know, the hair follicle and the urine and everything, do you guys accept sap drivers? We have not been successful with sap drivers. Okay, that's what's we up. have not. We we tried we've tried it a few times. We just we've had some. I guess I would just say, unfortunately, some some bad luck. We've tried. We we kind of said, hey, let's do that. We're doing our part and tried. And we tried about six times, and we're ultra six. Wow. Okay. Uh, sign on bonus. Are you a sap driver? Uh, no. <laughs> No, mm -mm. And I'm, I'm like I said before. I, I pride myself on keeping myself clean, so I, I know how I know how important it is to, you know, keep my driver's license up because that's you know my my license, my my license is my career. You know, it's just unfortunately a lot of unfortunate drivers don't realize that you know that once you get once you get your CDL. It's 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 attached to your, you know, your driving career because without it, you 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 can't drive no more. And if you can't drive no more, you won't be able to make this kind of money. And if you ain't gonna be able to make this kind of money, then what are you gonna do? It, it's 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 a waste, you know. I I understand, you know, some of these truckers out here they 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 like to you know indulge in everything and they don't think it's not a big deal but i mean when you consider spending about five thousand seven thousand dollars for for three weeks training for a cdl license yeah that's yeah you know you you might want to put your perspectives in order yep it's a mess it's a mess uh, do you guys require? I mean, do you require? Do you guys have a sign-on bonus? We do not. We do not have a sign-on bonus. All right. Well, Mike. Hey, I appreciate the. I appreciate the time, sir. Um, like I said, I've been driving for uh seven years. Um, I'm pretty comfortable at the place where I'm at right now considering how much I make and, you know, the, uh, the freedom of not going up in the Northeast, <laughs> but yeah, I, I hear you, but I am in a Facebook group and I, and, you know, I do share my information uh, with all my, you know, Facebook, group, uh, Facebook drivers and everything. So I would definitely pass this information along and, uh, and, well, good. and I, and I appreciate the time and honesty, sir. No worries at all. And the only thing that I would share with you just in passing, just so that people know it as well, is that all of our trucks are equipped with cameras inbound and outbound, like so many are. I'd like to let people know that as well, so if there's no, you know, problems or surprises. Outbound cameras that are G-Force activated for all of our Gotcha. And that's, you know, and you're exactly right. That is kind of a deal breaker for some out here, but I would definitely pass that along, sir. All right, brother. Hey, thanks thank, a lot for calling. Hey, I appreciate you, man. Thank you very much for talking to me. Hey, bud. So let's talk about it. Max, 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 Max. M-A-S-T, Mast Trucking. 
out of Maslin, Ohio. Yes, sir. Shout out to the uh, both of the recruiters uh, for talking to me and giving us the information that we need. Hopefully, if you're a new driver or a drive or a person that's interested in driving, you know, Matt's trucking probably might be for you. Let's talk about it for a minute. Let's talk about it. They do have paid CDL training, right? Uh, if you're interested in coming in, you're going to be out for at least two months. So you got to make sure you pack a lunch. All right. They do have a they do have on site place where you can stay while you're getting your CDL training. The first month I'm going to assume is for to getting your license while the second month you're going to be out with a trainer. So definitely if you're interested in getting your CDLs, make sure that you give them a call and see what they can do for you. Now, as I said before, Nothing in the world is free, not even your CDLs, even though they will say you have uh, free, uh, you get your CDLs free. No, you get your CDL training for free, but to pay that back, you have to be obligated to the company for at least a year. Unfortunately, if you get fired, terminated, quit or whatever reason you decide to leave the company then that whole seven thousand dollars has to be paid back so again i ask you <laughs> is the cdl is free <laughs> no <laughs> then there you go um I did get a chance to talk to the experienced recruiter and he did give me a whole Good. He gave me he gave me some great information for you guys. Uh, let's start off with the trucks, for example. The trucks are 65 miles per hour on the foot and on the cruise. So it doesn't matter. Uh, the trucks come equipped with driver cams in and outward driver cams. And I believe that it's not only video, but it's also voice activated. So just know that coming in, uh, they don't do SAP drivers. So if you're in the SAP program or you completed the SAP program, this is one of the companies that would not accept you. Um, they do hair follicle and drug testing. I mean, they do hair follicle and urine. And to know that the hair follicle goes back a year so if you one of those people that loves to indulge this would not be the company for you um also a uh, tidbit reminder if you have family or friends that then i suggest you not be around them because if you come in and you pass and you just so happen to do a random, then yes, yes, it's a one and done. It's all over. And they will not, they now, it won't go on your clearing house, but they will make sure that it goes on your deck. All right. Um, they do offer percentage pay and they offer cent per mile. So if you're a driver that, wants percentage pay he wants you to at least be there with the company for at least six months and then you can negotiate something then you can negotiate something from there matt's trucking out of maslin ohio is this a company for you let me know in the comments below drivers if you driven or have drove for this company let us know how the experience is with you is the company worth it is the what was what was said in the conversation is is accurate let us know matt's trucking out of matt's truck matt's matt i can't pronounce it damn it matt's trucking out of maslin out of maslin ohio 
information for the company as well as getting in contact with the recruiters will be in the description below. Make sure you let them know that the recruiter call channel sent you. Until next time, who's next?